Greetings, welcome to my channel, A Place to Dock. I am Julia. I am grateful that you are here with me today and I'm happy to be embraced by your presence. Today we're going to do a mini message on healing and hope. And we're going to ask, what needs healing in our lives and how can we find hope? I'm going to use the Rider Waite deck today and we're going to see what needs healing in our lives today. This is a timeless message, so whenever you see it is good for you, okay? Okay, so what needs healing? <clears throat> All right, we have two cards here. We have the Six of Cups, and we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so Six of Cups, that's... That's a lot of healing when you think about it. That's, this is, the Six of Cups is the past and it is all our relationships in the past, all our memories from the past, happy, sad, and all, all of them together. So there's a lot of healing that we're doing on, on an energetic level. We can heal. We just, we have, we're going through the memories. We're remembering everything and sometimes it can be overbearing with that. And the other aspect of it is, we might have had finances. We might have had a great life a year ago, 10 years ago, or we just expected great things to happen and they never did. So we have to, we're healing our, our dreams and our hopes and, and the wishes that we wished would have come true. Okay. And we might've had particular people that we thought we're going to have this great life with this person. And all that has now come crashing down maybe in the past and we're finally going oh we have to deal with this we have to let it go we have to we're feeling it okay basically we're feeling all this today and how do we how do we uh heal this okay okay <laughs> we have the nine of swords and we have the empress okay i'm glad they're together so <laughs> What first comes to mind is go to your mama and tell her all your sorrows. <laughs> okay, now you can maybe do that, and maybe you can't. Um, however, we are we we have. It's okay to feel these things. It's okay. It's not okay to be worried, but we have to recognize what these are. So take a pen, write down nine things that are troubling you, because this is the nine nine of swords. Okay, there's nine things that are swirling in our heads at least, and we need to write them down, recognize what they are. Being aware of it is half the battle. Okay. So write the things down. And as some people do, you can burn them all up or dispose of them in the best way that you want to. And so that you're releasing them and not holding on to them. And the other is to nurture yourself. This is the Empress. She is the pregnant mother here and she is anticipating and uh, eager to have her baby and you probably can't see it in the card but anyways that's what she is and she's also the the goddess of venus who is very abundant so we can trust that we are being cared for and that we are being nurtured and that we are growing through all of these pains and sorrows so let them go and know that you're going to birth something new into your life and and it's going to be a good thing because this is a lot of hope and love and compassion. Okay, so let your own heart give your own heart compassion. Okay, we are also going to pull a card from the messages from your angels oracle cards. Okay, and we're going to see what message the angels want to give us along with this message of healing and hope. Okay, come on, Angel. <laughs> okay, so there's too many there, so let's see here. Okay, we have Archangel Michael. Okay, can you see that? Archangel Michael, I am with you, giving you courage to make life changes that will help your work, will help you work on your divine purpose. Okay. 
And another card came out, Liyla. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Okay. So I trust that this message was helpful to you, letting all the past go and nurturing your own soul. Thank you and have a great day. If you liked it, please give me a like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.